Hey, what's up, boys, ladies, and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Security Breach video. Look, that's the game we're talking about. So really, ever since FNAF World and Sister Location, Scott really loves to give his character voices. And today is no exception, as we have had a lot of news when it comes to scottsvoices.com page, voices for Security Breach and its trailer. I would like to say, um, this is currently a developing situation. By the time this video's out, we may have learned of a few more voices, um, but right now, we've gotten a pretty good chunk of information, so I'm making the video now. If we learn more, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll be back tomorrow to talk about it more. But jumping right into it, thanks so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, please subscribe to the channel. It really is the best way to support me, and I really do appreciate it. Also, smash the like, too. That's another way to support. So, of course, Kane Carter is back at it again, being the absolute lord he is, when it comes to FNAF news, so uh, he'll be linked down below, go check him out. He's always up to date when it comes to FNAF news, and he's always really fast about it too. So, he made a tweet saying, FNAF news, a new FNAF voice actor has been found, Conrad Solomon has written a review for their part of, quote, disappointed boss commissioned by Scott. Conrad says, for a long time fan of Scott's work, this was an absolute surreal experience, uh, very grateful. So of course, Scott is being an absolute boss man when it comes to the disappointed boss. So yeah, obviously, I think the name is pretty clear cut, right? This is a boss of us, whether we're walking at the factory um, where the FNAF AR character is being shipped, or if it's like the, the higher ups at the mall, right? The Pizza Plex Megaplex. I don't know. It definitely is a, a higher up above our position, and they are disappointed for some reason, disappointed in us. I don't know, maybe Vanny, maybe. Gregory, who's like messing around in the place. I don't know, but they are disappointed. Unfortunately, we can't check out the, um, the disappointed boss, like, uh, listing. We can't see how many lines they had, you know, um, all we know is that this is a disappointed boss. Conrad Solomon is the voice actor, and he left a review for Scott on January the 29th. However, we do get a lot of information of Bulky Beefcake. Um, <laughs> That's the name, Bulfy Beak. What the hell, Scott? It's worth noting that this voice has only a minute and 40 seconds worth of lines, so I don't think this is going to be a main character. Because it does seem like the Glamrock animatronics are going to have a very prominent role in the game, I don't think it's one of them. Um, even though the action star amu amusing and athletic uh, tags on this listing may lead you to think that it's going to be Glamrock Freddy or Montgomery Gator. Gator, I don't think it is. Yeah, what bulky beefcake could mean, I don't know. I feel like it's probably like a code name for some character. As cool as it would be to find, right, there's only 250 words for this listing. As cool as it would be to, you know, get a, a listing where we 100% know it's Glamrock Freddy or Montgomery. Then again, Glamrock Freddy already does have a voice, so, hmm. I actually really don't hope uh, that this one is Montgomery Gator because I would love to have the characters talk a lot in this in this game and having him only talk for a minute and 40 seconds tops is not my preferred um, role for, for this character. Also, probably the biggest news is that PJ Haywood is back. If you don't know who PJ is, he's the voice actor for um, William Afton and Michael Afton. It's really nice to know that PJ is coming back. Um, I, he's a really cool dude. I like his voice. I like his voice for William and Michael. Uh, that still doesn't persuade me that I, I like Glitztrap being back or just William being back in general. I really... And if you've seen me talk about how... How do I put this? If you've seen me talk about how I like the new approach to the franchise, you'll know that I really do wish it was just Vanny coming back. Right at the end of FNAF 6, Henry had this amazing, um, like, ending that wrapped up everything and he banished, um, Afton to hell. It was, it was such a moving ending, and to find out that Glitchtrap William is coming back now, it kind of defeats the whole purpose, you know, of, of that ending, which I think was a great ending, probably the best in the entire franchise. So I'm a little bit annoyed that William is coming back yet again, um, but I'm, I'm, you know, it's nice to, it's nice to know that if he is coming back, which it seems like he is, uh, PJ is still on board to voice the character. Now we do not know if this is for William or if it is for Michael. Then again, they both did technically die in the fire, so I'm guessing it probably is William voicing Glitchtrap. If you remember, Glitchtrap did have that voice line in Princess Quest saying, Oh god, what was it? It was something along the lines of like, let me out, help me, 
or something like that. So I'm guessing that that line from Princess Quest was also PJ doing the voice, so yeah, it's nice to know that he's still coming back to voice William Afton in his return to the franchise yet again and again and again. Now something you may notice is that it's, it's under movie trailers. Now, I don't know if this is the FNAF movie. Even though it is under the movie trailers, uh, Kane did point out something. He said, worth mentioning that the category here is movie trailers instead of the normal voice of video games. This does not mean it's for a movie. In fact, it's more likely it's for the SB trailer since a video game trailer category simply doesn't exist. So, it seems like we may be getting William Afton's voice in the gameplay trailer when it comes out in March. Which is very exciting, because up until this point, we've only had Vanny, Glamrock Freddy, and what we presume to be either Glamrock Chica or Roxanne, then again, it might just be uh, Vanessa's voice, when she is possessed by Glitchtrap and when she is not. Um, but still, that's kind of up for debate on who the second voice in the tech demo trailer we got is. But yeah, it's very exciting that PJ's coming back, um, and it's very exciting to know that we are still actively getting news on this game. I know a lot of people are upset that it got pushed back, that we're not really getting a whole lot of news on it, um, but when you think about it, we're, we're still getting news, it's just not specifically from Scott or Steel Wolf. And also when it comes to trying to figure out where it is in the development stage, if you remember back during Help Wanted's days, the voice acting was like the final thing they did for the game. However, this game is a bit different because we've been getting voices ever since like back in June or like July of 2020. So we've been getting voices for a long time. So it makes me think that either the people that voice the, the, the characters are only just reviewing Scott now or they are still adding in voice lines. Which is different from how they used to do it, especially with Help Wanted, because, again, they added them all in at the very end of Help Wanted's development, but it seems like they are doing it, you know, with each step of development as they work on Security Breach. Which, again, does make it a little bit difficult to tell where they are um, in the game-making process, but hopefully, you know, we don't have to wait too long, because Scott did say early 2021, and if you guys can't believe it already, we're moving into February already. And Scott said we're getting a gameplay trailer, which I'm still so excited for, um, in March. So, and I know, I know I normally don't like to say release dates or release months, because then people will take what I say and say, oh, it's coming out this month, when I'm just saying that's speculation. I think we can probably see it around May. So yeah, don't take my word for it. That's not confirmed by Scott, nor Steel Wall. I'm just saying, based on what we've seen in the past and what we're seeing right now, it seems like a April or May release date is very likely because, you know, that's, that's kind of pushing it a little bit on early 2021. But yeah, I, it's really nice to know that Scott and Steel Wall are still really working hard on this game. I know it may seem like the community is a little bit dead, right now because FNAF AR is not doing anything, Security Breach uh, is getting like almost no news when it comes to news from Scott and Steel Wool. Um, but trust me guys, in the end, this is gonna be amazing, right? We've seen all of the trailers, all the amazing graphics, all the amazing, you know, talent behind Security Breach. So as long as you keep waiting, we'll have a really fantastic game on our hands in no time. But that's really it. Again, that's all the news we have as of the recording of this video. When this video gets gets published, we might have a bit more, but don't, you know, don't go attack me saying, oh, you missed this because that's all we've gotten so far as of me recording this, so calm down. Yeah, so that's it. Hopefully we'll get more news soon because I really do enjoy getting updates on Security Breach. Again, even if it's not from Scott or Steel Wall, because it lets us know that this game is going to be great if we just keep waiting and we be patient. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.